Clytus, I'm bored. What plaything can you offer me today? An obscure body in the SK system, Your Majesty. The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. Plus. Hey, hey, everybody, this is the Review Revolution coming back at you with another Biff Bang Pow, officially licensed Flash Gordon uh, figure. And in this case, we're taking a look at Timothy Dalton and his betrayal of Prince Baron, leader of the Tree Men. Actually, not a bad likeness of Timothy Dalton, not from inside the pack at least. Looks pretty good. Um, now, uh, the closest thing I can kind of compare Timothy Dalton's appearance in the Flash to, was, in Flash Gordon to, was uh, Liam Neeson appearing in the movie Crawl. Another one of those '80s B films, you know, maybe even C films, uh, that uh, that you probably saw just as a popcorn movie and uh, and didn't think much of at the time. But then when you go back and and watch them again, you go, "Wow, he was in that movie. Cool." Uh, Timothy Dalton, as we probably know him most uh, recognizably as the one-time James Bond, uh, much earlier in his career than that, but still, still a very good performance. And uh, though I don't know much about Prince Baron, I have to say that he filled the role that he was needed to. In, they needed to in the movie. Uh, on the package. It is, uh, it's become kind of familiar for the card, at least. Uh, if you remember on Flash, he actually came in a clamshell. But the card design was the same, with the yellow background. Kind of got the, the bolts, the lightning bolts, coming in from the sides and down here. Designs by Alex Ross, which I think is a little unfortunate, especially considering the Dale figure. Um, to, to put, for Alex Ross to put his name on that, it's, it's rather... Wow. <laughs> Uh, in this case, we've got uh, on the back, we've got the movie poster, which I am going to get after doing re the review on these. I do want this poster really bad. Um, other figures that are in the line. There are two Flash Gordons uh, in his Mungo clothes, uh, one with a sword, one with a gun. Two Ming the Mercilesses, which just look to be basically repaints of each other. A Flash Gordon in his street clothes. Um, Dale Arden in her black suit, Prince Baron, who we're going to take a look at just right here. Whoops, easy go. Here we go. Clytus, Dale Arden in her white wedding suit, uh, the Prince Baron with battle damage with the whip, and then Clytus again uh, from his death scene. Now, I do believe that Dale and Clytus at the end here were actually Comic-Con exclusives. I'm not sure of that, but it's something where, from what I've read, what I've seen, I believe that's the case. Just like on uh, Dale, you know, there's, a, there's you know, description of Flash Gordon, American football star, title character in the classic 1980 film Flash Gordon, unwilling travels aboard a rocket ship to the planet Mungo in order to save Earth from the impending destruction. Flash must unite the kingdoms of Mungo to defeat the evil Emperor Ming. But nothing about Prince Baron or the Tree Men. Uh, so, I'll fill it in. Prince Baron is actually the, uh, the uh, consort of Princess Aura. Um, basically, it's his love for her that you know, kind of brings him into the uh, plot. Uh, he and Voltan, uh, Prince Voltan of the Hawk People, uh, they he has a little uh, a little uh, rivalry going on between their kingdoms, but all of it plays out real well. The movie is actually really good. It makes perfect sense, and it's it, it hangs together very nicely. Depend considering how much is actually going on. Uh, but that's a look at the pack. Uh, we'll take a moment, uh, pop them open, and take a look at the figure. So be right back. All right, everybody. Uh, we've now got Prince Baron out of his pack, and. I don't know. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a really in between kind of situation. Um, well, let's take a look. Uh, first off, as I said before, it's a good interpretation of Timothy Dalton. I mean, he. I mean, it, for for the way the Ghostbusters are coming out, and uh, and you know how mo motion picture um, actors are usually portrayed in figures, this one isn't too bad. 
uh, I don't think it's as good as the Ghostbusters, but still, you know, uh, considering that uh, this is an actor that we all pretty much know, I think it's fair to say they did a very good job, you know, capturing his, his appearance. So, you know, plus on that, um, for the sculpt, you can see on his shirt, he's got this nice, like, diamond weave pattern with the lace uh, top or lace uh, front here. Uh, lots of detail on the pants as far as, you know, wrinkles and, and folds. And his boots, you know, again, very nicely done. So sculpt-wise, I think he's good. He's certainly, in, in, uh, in terms of the, uh, of the uh, character, I'm sure meant to be kind of the Robin Hood of the Flash Gordon universe. And he captures that very well in the sculpt. He's got the fin on the back of the gloves. Actually pretty good, just like he appeared in the movie. Now his paint, his I, I think that the sculpt, as good as it is, the paint job certainly could have complemented it more. I mean, you can see on his collar and around his shoulders, there's the gold trim, which is exactly the way the Baron's costume was. But as far as on the most of the figure, it's all just a flat paint color. It's a flat, a, a flat green. Uh, no highlights, no nothing on there to make the, the, the sculpt stand out anymore. And, and I'm kind of against that. I, I think that it could have certainly have improved the figure to have some highlights or possibly some sort of wash over it. His hair actually has some highlights in it, which is surprisingly uh, pleasant. Um, his pants, again, just a flat color, nothing, nothing spectacular to it. And, of course, the boots, the same color as the top. And I think that's one of the things that kind of bothered me about this character or about this figure is the fact that he is very, very flat. There's not really any dimension to him except for the fact that he does look like Timothy Dalton and is certainly uh, sculpted to look like the Baron from the movie. His articulation, just on par with Flash. Uh, the head is on a ball, so we can look up, side to side. Not really down, but certainly up. Um, Light Flash, his arm only comes out a little bit. Not so much. He does have a twist at the bicep on the elbow, but nothing at the glove. I think that when you look at where the glove is, a cut on the glove couldn't have been so hard, and it would have brought a lot to the figure. Uh, just like Flash, if his wrists were twist. Um, he does have a leg that comes out, bends the knee, and actually at the ankle. So, kudos on that. Uh, all around, he's a he's got better articulation than Flash, I think. But somehow, it still feels restricted. It still feels kind of limited. Uh, in the way of his accessories, he does come with one. Now, I'll admit, the weapons from the Flash Gordon movie weren't all that impressive, but they were sure a lot better than this. Um, here, the, the kind of the decorative piece in the back is held on by that little section right there. So that could pop at any time. Uh, it's just... I mean, he looks kind of cool when he holds it. And you can kind of tell that he was sculpted to basically sit in basically that pose. But really, a little bit more articulation could have done wonders for these figures. There's so much more that, that, that we could have gotten out, of them, gotten out of them and had a whole lot more fun with them. So, you know, maybe uh, Biff Bang Pow will, will, will kind of take another look at it and try and, and redo these figures. Maybe you know, expand the joints a little bit, but uh, I have to say, uh, this is certainly a lot better than the Dale figure. Uh, not as good as some of the other kind of uh, six-inch figures that are out there, but for being uh, merchandise for the Flash movie, hey, I'm cool. So this has been the Review Revolution, taking a look at Biff Bang Pow's Prince Baron, leader of the Treeman from Flash Gordon. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Join the revolution. Bye-bye.